Victoria from All About Embryology. And we're going to be discussing all things eggs, embryos, and assisted reproductive technology. Victoria has over 15 years of experience and is now using this experience to give her patients independent embryology advice and support. So welcome to the podcast, Victoria. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me on. So excited to chat with you. Can you tell the listeners just a little bit about yourself, where you're based and how you became an embryologist? Yeah, no, of course. So I've been an embryologist, as you said, for over 15 years now. Um, so I started out my journey um, in London um, and I've worked my way sort of up, up the sort of senior levels. Um, and then my latest job, um, I moved out, out to Surrey um, in London, just outside of London. Um, and then I got the role of lab manager there. Um, so I was in that role for about four years. Um, and I just started to spend a lot more time with my patients. It was a smaller clinic, um, unlike the big London ones. Um, and I just realized that there was a bit of a, a gap in the patient's understanding. So they get a lot of help from the doctor side um, where they're talking about the causes of the inf infertility and what the treatment's gonna actually mean in terms of stimulation and everything. But then suddenly they're thrown onto the lab side and they don't really have a great deal of understanding. Um, and, you know, you hit the point of egg collection and, you know, you're then the main point of contact is going to be your embryologist. And if they don't understand all the terminology, exactly what to expect with fertilization or things like that, it can make it a very scary, daunting phase for the patients. Um, on top of the fact that they're being pumped with hormones and, you know, mm. there is a natural emotional side anyway. Um, so that kind of led me to say, actually, I feel like I can really help patients by coming away from the clinical setting and actually being someone independent. So it doesn't matter where the patients are, which clinic they're at. I've done overseas patients um, just to really be a, a bridging gap between um, what they're getting from their clinic um, and sort of themselves so that they don't have to sort of go down that rabbit warren of, of the Internet and trying to kind of ask for help online um, or ask fr family and friends who might have had a cycle themselves but be in a completely different situation so I want to be able to you know give the patients independent advice and help them you know be able to ask the right, right questions to their clinic and really make sure that they're getting the right treatment for them and they're not being persuaded into doing anything that they don't necessarily need um, obviously there's a lot of talk about add-ons and stuff at the moment um, mm. so that's what le le led me to set up all our embryology so it's been just over a year now um, and yeah, yeah I'm, I'm absolutely loving it um, so yeah hopefully I'm able to help lots more people in the future as well. Amazing the work that you do is so needed so yeah on behalf of everyone that's benefiting from your services thank you so much.